Hello everyone, Clemmy from Clemmy's Creations. I'm checking in uh, really fast. I'm going to try and do a really quick flip of these three journals that I finished a bit ago. I think I finished them. Um, I kind of got to a certain point and then pushed them to the side. So anyway, these are plain, a uh, fairly plain, um, altered writing journals. So they're they're books that I've altered into some plain writing journals. Um, and it's their hints of, so I have a hint of bronze. This one is a hint of silver and this one is a hint of gold. So we're going to start with um, a hint of bronze. And this is just a cover, just a die cut that um, I've colored or painted with some bronze painting. And I've got hints of bronze um, throughout. I'm not for sure how many pages um, there are, and they're a little stiff still because I have not played with these, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I kind of did what I was going to do, and I left them alone. So here you can put um, a picture or, you know, your, your name or whatever you want to do with that. They will be listed in my Etsy, um, so I'll get those posted probably before I upload. And these are just some plain library cards this journal belongs to and just a small tag. And I've gone through and used the same paint to um, color the edges of the pages and uh, some of the tags. I'm going to try and go fairly fast. This is some Edith Holden. Um, in this journal, we have lots of stenciling and stamping. And it is stiff. <clears throat> it's very stiff. But somebody's probably saying, you shouldn't do that. Well, I did. So, um, here, I think I just gessoed over that. I don't know what I was doing there. Some, just some vintage um, <laughs> botanical paper. I did do 5 pamphlet stitch on this one. So you guys, you can see that there is lots of room to journal. There's some old music paper. And I'm um, Looking at it now, I will probably have to go ahead and break these up because I do not want a long video, you guys. I do not want that. That's a pocket there. And um, I've, I'll keep wanting to say stucco. Um, just some modeling paste, yeah, that I painted over. Another pocket, just a plain little journal. I mean, a plain little tag. More Edith Holden. So I told you guys I was working on some plain journals um, just to kind of decompress from that. Plus, I kind of, um, I just, I kind of like uh, plain journals to maximize if you just want to journal or and I don't mean like you know journal in the sense of some of uh, the way that we journal just um, like journaling like pen writing of course there's a room in, enough for you to go in and add your own special touches if you like and hopefully the uh, stenciling will not um, distract you and all of this you guys is just where I, um, I just use that paint just to add hints of bronze and I love that's probably my favorite page there you guys I'm telling you I'm just I don't know really liking the simplicity of journals yeah I did sometimes I put these in here and I forget to cut the other pocket the other end of that pocket of the bag to make a pocket 
which is no biggie. You could, if I have forgotten that, you could simply take scissors and cut that yourself. See, so you can go in and add your own embellishments to that to pretty that up if you don't like it plain like that. Just another plain journal. And this is where it got a little bit different here. Um, I love these, but it's the first time I've inserted it in here. And I think I thought there were some more. Let's see if there are. So what I think I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to try and video all of these. And as I look back over the video, if it's too long, I will go ahead and edit it and just split them up into three different videos, which I really want to, um, I really want them to upload at the same time. And I don't really want to have three separate videos uploading in a day. That may be a bit much. So yeah, there's another one of those pages. Um, so we'll see because you can just fast forward and I love see in this no you know what this is my favorite page or yes this is my favorite page here in the journal so as you can see if you've counted with me there are quite a few pages I meant to have them counted before I videoed, but this is what I get for <laughs> impromptu videoing, you guys. Sometimes I just have to do it when I can. Okay, and the back of that um, is my little stamp there, and that is it for that little beauty there. And this one is a hint of bronze. The three metals is what I wanted to call this little series. Um, let's get that one out of the way. And this one is a hint of silver. So um, I've done the embossed covers, or I forget what you call this. Um, it has three little hubs on the side that are silver. And this is the back. Now you can go ahead and close this in. I added this in and then after I added it, I didn't want to change it. Um, so that's the problem that I have sometimes. So I have included um, some mm, Velcro to um, do that with. But as you can see, um, so when I was dry brushing over that, I kind of messed up here, you guys. So you can see that that's a little bit, my brush was not as dry as it should have been. And if I'm thinking right, I want, I'll probably just do a video over me um, showing how I altered these books. And this one is different in that, let me show you this one and the way that I altered them. You can see there's a different difference in the thickness. My um, light is not very good at all, is it? Um, yeah, so you can see that. Anyway, on to the next one. So um, this is a little tag here. And it was supposed to be silver, but then I was playing around with um, this cover so much. I liked it that I just kind of went crazy with it. And then I was like, oh, I, I've got to add in the silver. So um, yeah, that was kind of a side thought there. Again, I have another little... Um, library card you can alter and these are the tags that I was playing with I meant to do more with these but um, I'm going to leave it as is so that I can keep the price as low as <laughs> as low as possible because the more I do and add in um, yeah that's more time and stuff spent and so this is just holding um, these two in case you do decide to go ahead and close that velcro up you can take some three and one glue and just add it to the back of that I couldn't add it myself because that would have interfered with holding that open so it's in there and I may reshoot this video you guys because I'm not liking my lighting here is it too late to change let's see 
I don't know. Let's see if that'll help. I don't think so. Okay, so let's move forward. Another pocket that Edith, Edith Holden is not attached. And just a butterfly on the other side of that. Some old Shakespeare paper. And this is some of the deli paper I ordered way back when. Um, Nick the Booksmith was telling us about it and I've never used it. Thought I'd throw it in there. Um, you can uh, journal on this if you want to. Or you can just um, stamp on it. Do whatever you want to do with that. And that is a pocket. There's a little stamp I fussy cut around. And I've been watching some of Yvonne Preston's tutorials. And this was an idea from her. I didn't finish it completely, but um, this is what you have. And it's just a little booklet. And I haven't stitched it on. This is just glued on. We've got a few pages, quite a few pages there to journal on. But I love the way that they turn out. I mean to do more of those in a general um embellishment just to add to the journals and this will pop out i don't know why i have that stuck there like that you can stamp on that or something and have that like that okay so this here is a pocket and this will unravel opens up <coughs> excuse me opens up and um that does come up like so that pops down for journaling. There is a pocket at the back with the repair tag. And yeah, I remember. And the music paper will move to the side so that you can journal on there. You can also gesso over this and journal on there as well if that's what you would like to do. Another tag. So as you can tell, this one's a little more embellished, but what I did, and these are supposed to get glued on somewhere, I'm not for sure, um, is I was, I had started embellishing and these little uh, books are only so um, thick or so wide. So I had to curb um, that. And I remember that, you know, not remembered, but I wanted to stick to, this being a writing journal. So for the first um, signature, um, yeah, it's fairly embellished. And this is just another little booklet that I've made using two eyelets. But anyway, you've got more pages there. This is a little tag. I know I saw this on <coughs> um, the ladies channel. Lovely lady love um, all of her little tutorials. Um, this is, I believe, an envelope. Yes. And I love that. Now, if I can just go and pop it back in. And you can go ahead and add something to that if you like. But it pops over like so for more journaling. And this tag pop comes out at the bottom. And so that it doesn't keep flopping over. There's just another tag there. I have inserted the paper clip. But there's that. That page is glued down. And this paper clip will hold that closed. Little tag that just slides through there paper bag this one is um, glued to the page but this one is a loose um, tag so pocket and I didn't want to copy down my papers because I didn't want to um, dole them out so I just um, added some splashes of paint over there and then the coffee dot paper so that you do have that journaling page and it kind of um, takes away from all of the brightness of just the plain um, white. Okay, so here we have um, the splashes of the silver and 
when I did this butterfly, it was just like this one. Um, I closed it up and it got bent. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. I thought it was kind of neat. So here is the plain, plainness of this journal. And this is the last signature. I do have one more of these tags. I believe I had um, five signatures and they didn't fit. So I had to take a couple of those signatures out. Lots of room to journal in. And just another tag at the back of that. And that one is the other um, stamp of mine. There's it. And there's a hint of silver. And this one is a hint of gold. Um, I think I doubled up on this. Um, this is not sorry silk. This is seam binding. Now I untangled it into a knot. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there is the cover. Um, <laughs> played around with writing the journal on there. Um, I did dye the gold. Uh, book plate ends to match in the gold um, of this and as you can tell this is a hint of gold yeah we'll probably do that and just some vintage uh, buttons love the way that it turned out and this one's also very very stiff so Goodness gracious. Uh. Okay, so this is the first page. This is a little tuck behind. And this one, love all the gold on that little tag there. And that's the back of it. Library card. And this, um, these signatures I had made um, a few years ago, you guys, for another journal. <clears throat> I never used and I said let's let's um just use this up and so that's what I've done is that a pocket uh, yes that's a pocket and these pages were um th this is dreams etc page which went in as you can see perfectly with this plain um this is um Walmart paper now, I probably bought that five years ago. I don't even know if they still have it, but I wish they did because it's beautiful. Um, I don't even check. Um, I should probably go and check their paper out. And this one is just printed on some parchment paper. Old clocks from an old Sears and Roebuck catalog. And I've got splashes of the gold throughout this journal. And I loved the way that this uh, paper came out. This is baked. I don't even, I rarely, rarely bake my papers anymore. But um, this was making the signatures so big uh, because the paper, um, it was just so thick and just lovely. But you can see I did a lot. No, you can't see. But I did a lot of the golding on that. I don't want to say gilding. <laughs> with gilding flakes, but um, just the gold paint. And that is a pocket there. Trying to come into the light more so you guys can see. I haven't been checking the camera. I've been running my head. Or shall I say mouth? I've been running my mouth. Love, love, love the gold on here. There's the other side of that pocket.
And I got to this point, apparently, and I started doing um, some uh, decoupaging with napkins. I think what, um, yeah, I was really trying to use up a lot of loose papers and stuff that I have around because um, I have some other things I've been wanting to get into, but I've been telling myself I need to start using some of the other stuff that I have. Well, I can tell you now, this these were completed, um, oh gosh, um, one before I'd completed the, um, what journal was that? The music box journal. And then that week I completed the others. And so, um, I've not stuck to that, you guys. I've gone ahead and um, broke out some of the other uh, books that I've been saving to add to my journals. And papers, I shall say. So I just love that. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness, I am so loving it. Yes, I love that. Love, love, love. I'm thinking I should have just not even uh, put this one up. Okay, this is, I know I put butterflies in one of them, and it's this one. And I haven't glued these down. This is just holding on with um, washi tape. So you can take that off and use it um, in one of your own journals if you would like to do so. That's the pocket. I think that's another pocket too. Yeah, Lots of room to stuff some things. And I love the washi tape there and it ties in to everything. more washi tape connecting that um, Shakespeare. This makes me want to um, use my oven to coffee dye my papers again. And so I didn't coffee dye uh, these pages. And as you can see, I just bagged this one with music paper and I like the way that that um, ended up. Some old ledger paper. And I love this, um, the way the butterfly with the yellow ties in, um, like the golden rays ties in with the washi tape. And if you turn it a certain way, it hits the, picks up the gold in the ledger paper. So I've been clearly all about um, journaling room. And I know I'm going to get back to my other style of journal, but I'm just really enjoying this right now, you guys. And I really, really like this. I mean, um, I love the gold, love the bronze, because um, bronze is it's almost like the gold. Um, but yeah, this is a hint of gold. We have a hint of silver and we have the hint of bronze okay you guys thank you for watching if it's a long video um thank you for your patience and if not i have cut it up uh you will know that also so you guys have a lovely morning a lovely evening or night wherever you are